All righty. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chasing Collectibles Catch Up. I'm Tyler. Tim. I'm Lauren. And uh, this is our first time, just the three of us together. Uh, the past uh, episodes, we've had a guest. And today we decided to go back to our roots. Uh, it's our first time since February 24th uh, doing an episode, just the three of us. And uh, I figured the name of the show is Chasing Collectibles Catch Up. Uh, it's been a couple months since it's just been the three of us, and I figured that we could just, you know, catch up. Um, so what have you guys done um, collectible-wise since we first talked in February? Well, um, I guess, Lauren, you want to start? Sure. Not a whole heck of a lot, really. Continuing with my eBay business and uh, selling books here and there, it's sort of slowed down a little bit, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's still going good. I, ha I still have fun listing books and uh, finding new ways to try to entice people to come on and check it out. And um, other than that, I haven't really been doing a lot. I went down to Florence, South Carolina over the weekend and stopped in a little shop called Galactic Comics. Really cool shop. A lot of uh, back issues, really didn't have a whole lot of time to go through a lot of them, but he had a lot of really cool wall books, um, a lot of a lot of toys and figures, but uh, nothing that I was searching for. Of course, I'm always looking for uh, Spider-Man toys. Um, I did see a really cool 9-8 uh, McFarlane Spider-Man Silver Edition. Cool. Um, Almost pulled the trigger on that one, but uh, I decided not to. But I should restraint. Have, now, now that I think back, yeah, strength indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was really cool. Um, uh, finally, saw some grades for some books that I have submitted into CBCS, and for the most part, pretty happy with it. Looking forward to getting those back, and uh, I will definitely be putting those up on my eBay page. And quite possibly on our store as well, just to uh, cross market. So keep an eye out for some really cool stuff coming really soon. Nice. Okay. Yeah, sounds pretty cool, man. Mind uh, you, when you say cross markets, reminds me of like crossing the streams in Ghostbusters. Never yeah. cross the streams. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Be in for a bad experience. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, as far as I've been doing, I've um, been going to actually more conventions this year, I think, than yeah. you know, the previous two years. Uh, I know we had a lot of shutdowns and everything with COVID the previous year, but, you know, even by comparison, the year before that, we've been just, you know, attending a lot more conventions. And I think it's been really great because it's pulled me away from... Um, going to just you know single shop here you know maybe once in a while like another shop there it's, it's really brought in my 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 horizons as far as you know um how to get get a hold of things that i want um so so i do like going to more conventions and i've picked up you know a lot more things um this year we've and you know i've and you know i'm sorry we together have have uh, really added a lot more to our store. And I've been trying to get a hold of more inventory this year, uh, which I think I have. And, you know, you guys can see online that our, our store has really grown. And just like Lauren, I have a lot of grades that, that have come back. And there's probably one or two books that I'll be posting soon. And yeah, that's about it. A lot, a lot of toys and statues I still collect, and you know my own personal collection of, of you know random story arcs and and complete sets and series and stuff. So, yep, cool. I was while I was in Florence, I was on the hunt for Spider-Man toys and memorabilia at different different little antique malls that we, we visited, you know, those places that have uh, separate booths and you pay at the one station. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of comic books, but a lot of those comic books were uh, independents that I've never even heard of. So it was just, <laughs> you know, 
flipping through these books. One one guy had a a bunch of DC books that just just they were in ruddy shape, so I didn't even bother. You know, he was asking too much for single books, and I'm like, man. The main thing I was looking for was you know Spider Man toys and collectibles, but nobody had any at that time. But uh, it was fun fun cruising around looking for stuff. Yeah, I was in uh, Asheville a couple of weeks ago, and um, there was a like a VHS store. Like they had all these old VHSs, and like it's like a they had cool horror stuff, and they had like two short boxes of dollar books. I was like, oh, is there? Am I going to find any surprises in here? And I looked through it, and there was like nothing. You know, they they truly did. I mean, they were dollar books. You know, nothing. There, there was no surprises. Nothing that I was like, oh, these guys didn't know about. Nah, you know, it was, you know, but worth looking. At least you never know what you're gonna find in that. Um, I'd say uh, I the, the biggest thing I've done chasing wise. I, I've been with Tim for a lot of these shows. We went um, what to Clemens. We went to uh, the Charlotte Comic Con in Concord. Um, the biggest uh, key book I've gotten so far. Um, I did get my hands on a uh, the first Silver Age appearance of Two Face, so that was pretty cool. Um, that was a book I was looking to get for a little bit. Um, so I like that, and I, I do want to uh, do uh, in, a, in a couple weeks um, chat with maybe Randall about uh, you know Neil Neil Adams is the guy behind this cover, um, and you know we recently lost him. And so I think it'd be cool if we could do a little chat about, you know, who he was and what he did and, um, you know, his importance um, at some point. And um, I've also started to get a little bit of Spider-Man comics, actually, some back issues of Amazing Spider-Man, uh, because I'm discovering, yes, uh, <laughs> I'm discovering that Batman Detective Comics, you know, I am never going to get a full run of that. Um, and I, I'm, I'm doing pretty well uh, with my Batman and Detective but my favorite Marvel hero is Spider-Man. Um, so I decided to try to get some back issues of Spider-Man here and there. So Lauren, you've rubbed off, you've rubbed off on me. Um, <laughs> I've gotten a few books here and there, you know, some, just some right now, it's just like, you know, cool covers that I see and all that. So I'm, I'm enjoying getting into, I've been caught in the web. Somebody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to jump in the deep end just yet. <laughs> I'm just buying a couple here and there. Batman's still my, my priority, but I've been, you know, if I can find them, I'm getting some good, good price Spider-Man books. So it's been fun. You know, it's cool seeing the art, you know, of the, the older books and, you know, from the, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s. You know, I love it. So it's been cool. I think my, my favorite remember. on Spidey is uh, Romita Sr. Yes. Oh. Just, re just remember, Tyler, if you buy something that you know is going to make her mad, it's a lot it's it's easier to ask for permission than it is for i think you got, uh, I think you got, I got that mixed up. you got, you got that mixed up no no do. never don't do. ask for don't, permission. don't don't do that buy it first no. and then say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission oh you sneak it in your collection and you act like you had it the whole time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've done that a few times yeah no, i haven't <laughs> yeah yeah i i like to move my stuff around a little bit that, that way should she She'll go, when, when did you get this? I've had it. It's just been behind something. I put it out there a while ago. <laughs> and on these, on these notes, this might be our last and final show that you guys see. This. <laughs> you know, it's, um, I was at the, I went to the South Carolina Comic-Con actually. And um, I did get to meet, I usually don't do this, but it, it, it was a big like kind of childhood connection is they had some voice actors there that I wanted to meet. And I was like, oh, I'll go meet them. You have to pay a little bit of money to get like a picture with them, which was fine. Um, but I met uh, John Ratzenberger, who is, to, the, to my generation, he's most well known as like, the, he's in every single Pixar movie, but he's also in Cheers. Um, so he's, yep. uh, you know, I got some flack from some friends that, that are older when I was like, hey, he's from Pixar, you know, I know him from Pixar, and they're like, he's from Cheers. I was like, calm down. Like, I don't, I I'm just have not <laughs> seen all of Cheers. I apologize. Um, and then I also met um, Jim Cummings who voiced uh, Darkwing Duck. He voiced Winnie the Pooh. He vo he's, the, he's a like very prolific voice actor. So I was, that was kind of cool. Even though I'm, you know, I, I try to stay focused and just buy comics. I saw those two guys were there. I was like, ah, I got to go. You know, it'd be cool to see them. So that was that was kind of neat. You know, so. hey, hey, Lauren. So um, I know you, you brought up your, your favorite Spidey artist. I don't know uh, if you knew, but 
this week, Amazing Spider-Man number one. John Romita is back. Wow. Junior, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's uh, John Romita Jr.? Uh-huh. No, I haven't, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Is that the... Um, well, yeah, I probably have that in my box over at uh, the store that I go to. So, yeah, that'll, that'll be cool. I'll have to go yeah. over there and get it. Yeah. yeah. If it's part of the Amazing Spider-Man run, then, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, they were it's in my remembering. box. Remembering. Yeah, just another reboot. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> the stupidest thing ever. Why they just, I mean, they got, they got to, they got to put it up fine. And then they, they got to, what's the price, Tim? Let's I'm going to say, hold on, hold on, don't tell me yet. It's $6.99. Uh, six dollars, five ninety nine. I was close. I was close. It's not. That's not as ridiculous as it is sometimes. Sometimes Marvel is just like nine ninety nine. I'm like, come on, guys, you, you gotta, you gotta give me something. You know, I'm. Yeah. Uh, um. I'm but gonna hey, buy eight hundred of those books just to stick away in my collection and wait fifty years. <laughs> then it's gonna be worth a whole ton of money because everybody's gonna think it's number one. Yes. <laughs> they have like a ton of they have you know of course they usually do a lot of variants but um i believe in in the charlotte area and i could be wrong maybe you guys know uh scotty young but um he usually does a lot of variant covers and stuff so i i picked up one of his his covers cool. that he did who knows maybe you know at the upcoming heroes convention which, uh, you know, we'll get into another day. Um, yeah. I'll get his autograph there. Yeah, on it. that'd be cool. So. Well, you'll have to get it witnessed by uh, CGC and send it off. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, Speaking um, of which, anybody know if they're, if they're back on track yet as far as uh, speed? Probably not. I mean, everywhere right now is... I mean, you know, as far as the the graders and stuff, it's all kind of the same. Yeah. Well, because you guys just got in from when you shipped off in like last year, right? Yeah. We haven't gotten them back yet. But well, we not got back, but you know the grade. Back. You know the grades. Yeah, we submitted no, I, in October. Yeah. I just got I just got mine back today. What do you mean? I got my books. Physical. Yeah. Let me see. I scanned them as a PDF and sent it to them. Okay. Oh, wow. Excellent. Nice. I haven't gotten mine yet. It's coming. Okay. Just got to keep on Man, waiting by the mailbox. Be, wouldn't that be cool if they showed up tomorrow? Yeah. Uh -huh. Click your heels. New books listed tomorrow. Tell wow. the comics, tell the comics to click their heels and they'll come home. Oh, number 300. Smooth. Yeah. So. Not exactly the grade I was looking for on that one, but still, you know, first Venom. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Well, we've been, we've been touching a little bit about what we've been doing individually um, since February. Um, but I was wondering if everyone could just kind of touch on what we've been up to, um, you know, chasing collectibles wise. Um I personally think we've been doing some good stuff. You know, we're, we've got, this will be number nine in our Chasing Collectibles catch-up series. Um, I've, I've had a ton of fun with all of our interviews, you know, we, and we've, we've done a lot of different people too. You know, we had, um, we had Jeremy with that Spider-Man uh, indie film. Um, mm -hmm. We've had Randall, we've, uh, Aaron Lepresti was really fun. Uh, Larry, Chris. Um, so I think we've heard from a lot of different people. Uh, and Tim, like you said, we've been buying, um, you know, growing, growing the inventory and even uh, bought a collection. Um, so how do you, how are you guys feeling so far? I know that uh, we're, we're still working on growing the audience and all that and growing, you know, uh, people actually purchasing some stuff. Um, but I think we're, we're definitely setting some, setting ourselves up uh, pretty decently. Uh, how do you guys feel? Well, I, I, I feel like, um, by comparison to where we were last year, you know, people can go back, Tyler, and just look at like our first video and be like, man, wow, that was pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to, you know, how, how we're doing now. And uh, I, I think things have definitely gotten, you know, a little bit more on track to where we were, you know, we have a clear heading 
and we've definitely been making a lot of, of headway as far as getting more followers. Uh, I think last year we only had a couple of hundred, maybe. Yeah. You know, now we're up it, over 1,200, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, 1,230. Excellent. Nice. Last yeah, everybody, everybody that's watching, please share this and uh, invite your friends to come on board. Um, we always are looking to uh, put up great content and uh, share interesting news and just the goings on in our area as well as uh, around the country about what's going on in our, our community of comics. So make sure you guys uh, subscribe to anything that we're on and, um, you know, spread the word, help us yeah. out, help yourselves out, come buy some comics from us and uh, come see us at shows. It'd be much appreciated. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is our our next uh, goal to do is to start showing up at conventions. So mm -hmm. I will keep invited, invited, not just randomly. You know, we're right, yeah. right. <laughs> right, as vendors. We're, we're not going to just show up and be like, "This seems like a good place to put a table." This is our table now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm um, the captain now. Yeah, that's how we. That, yeah. that's how wars start. Yeah. No, we've been. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't want to say this like, you know, I, I know I'm biased, but I mean, if you look at our shop, I think we have some, you know, decent stuff. Um, you know, if people have been liking the Moon Knight stuff. That's made the Moon Knight show, which I think is great. I mean, we got the Moon Knight number one on there. We got um, like from 1980. We've got um, more recent Moon Knight stuff. Um, A lot of first appearances. Yeah. Um, so I think, uh, you know, we've been reaching out to people online and um, I think going to shows is just another good step uh, for us to do. Um, so that's definitely coming in the future. And I, I think we offer, you know, we, we say this to everybody that we talk to because we've interviewed people that are comic book store owners and we're not really like, we don't see ourselves as like necessarily competitor like we're trying to help everybody you know we want to you know sell some comics of our own but also we're you know like lauren mentioned it's it's about community so i think we kind of offer like a, a double punch sort of deal where we're about the store aspect if you see some stuff from our store we'd love for you to, to purchase it uh but we also you know spread information I've, I've learned a lot just in our you know nine episodes that we've done of this show it's it's been awesome you know just talking to people um you know, it, it's been a blast like that. Uh, Lauren, uh, talking with Aaron Lepresti um, was really cool. That was our longest episode. That was almost, I think the whole thing was almost an hour and a half. Uh, yeah. But I mean, that was, that was super. Yeah, that was really cool. And uh, what I also like about it is we're not trying to be a competitor. Like, like you said, Tyler, we want to, we want to include everybody. That's why I think it's really cool that we're having different um, different dealers and different guys that are selling books on their own onto our show to help promote not only themselves, but, you know, promote our channel. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's really cool because now people that are watching could also realize that I get to go see these guys in person at a convention and buy some books from them. I never knew that they had this kind of stuff that they've got. So I'm, I want to go see Chris. I want to go see Larry. I want to go see Dave. I want to go see Nick. I want to go see whoever it is that we might bring in and talk about and, um, you know, help them create business for, for themselves. You know, one of these days we, you know, we, we got to get, we got to reach out to everybody and have yeah. them come on, you know, eventually we'll get to everybody. I think it would be really cool to have there's so many names in the business, you know, that, yeah. that we could right. bring on and and who want to be on, you know, we, we would love for them to reach out to us too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I we're mean, really if you wanna if you wanna come on, you know, as long as you've got something related with comics or geek stuff, if you want if you wanna come on and join us and, and chat, you know, we're yeah. open 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 seat, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we're gonna we're gonna try to reach out to some uh some bigger names and see if they'll be willing to come on, whether it be an actor or a comic artist or a writer or whatever have you. So we're, we're already in the works trying to get yeah. up, uh, get some good names to come on and join us. Yeah, I know we've been kind of uh, behind the scenes where we're, you know, we got our little group chat. We mentioned a couple names here and there. Uh, one person that we almost had that 
that that interview is going to happen eventually. Just got to reschedule with that person. Um, and you got you guys know I'm talking about um, mm -hmm. who we met at the Charlotte uh, Charlotte convention. We've got another person who would be really cool to interview. And I, you know, uh, you've been working on that one, Tim. Um, very, this is very vague, but I promise, you know, it's going to be cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's been awesome, you know, talking to these folks and, uh, it, it's all very mutual, you know, we're, we're all helping each other. Cause I, I think the comic book industry, we, we need more people to buy comics. We need younger people. We need people who maybe stop buying comics to get back into it. And it, it doesn't benefit one person, you know, exclusively to have them on the show and help them out. You know, it helps everybody because the more people we have buying comics, the stronger this community is and the longer yeah. it lasts, right? We don't want any, you know, we want, we don't want this industry to go away. You know, we, we want it to yeah. keep on thriving. And, and um, that, that's, that's a, a big purpose of this whole thing. And I, and I think there's room for everybody. I really do. I mean, you, you know, um, back when, when I, when I first started in, in the nineties, the early nineties, our community was a lot smaller and there really wasn't a whole lot of, um, of comic shops that that could um, you know there was only there only so much clientele that they can pull from but now you know I'm seeing as a result of all the media and all the you know the, the industry all together there's just so much more you know so many more people under this umbrella now and and there's room for I think everybody and more yeah well you know guys a, a big thing that goes into uh getting more people involved in comics uh that happens every single year is uh free comic book day um and so that's coming up i believe that is on may 7th and uh, we've got a video that i believe we'll be doing this week uh, with the local comic book store um should everything still pan out um but Guys, what is what is Free Comic Book Day, and why do you, is why is it important? And we've we've you know we've worked for, for a store, we've worked on the behind the scenes of Free Comic Book Day. So why why is it a good thing, or is it not a good thing? <laughs> I think it, I I think it's important first to point out that Free Comic Book Day was something that started back in uh, in 2022, and it was yeah it it was you mean it was 2002 or. You said 2022. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. 2002. <laughs> okay. I was like, whoa. It was something that started back in 2002. Man, I am messing up today. Oh, you're Big fine. <laughs> back in 2002. And it was to kind of um, go with the, the first, I guess, superhero movie of the summer, like to kind of coincide with it. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's like we have so many superhero movies that free comic book day has just become just a, you know a day of the year that we 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 get free books you know all the all these big publishers and small publishers they they uh you know put out books that the uh the comic shops are able to get a hold of and and give them out to everybody you know give everybody something to to read and see if it's something that they're into and promote their promote their books and a lot of shops use it as a a time to you know hold big sales mm -hmm. uh, you know so so that's uh that's the gist of what it is now yeah it's a it's a good tool for um the local shops to to invite people to come a lot of a lot of comic fans will go to multiple shops uh, during the day in their local cities, you know, just to visit and see what kind of stuff they have, which is really cool. I remember working, you know, at Nickel Spot, and even you guys were there helping out a lot of those times. And uh, mm -hmm. man, just the just the people that would come in, um, newbies and regulars and everything in between. Man, it was just great, you know, striking yeah. up conversations with people and getting getting the kids into the books and you know telling their parents how great it is um showing them what books would be probably good for them to read and what not to read um depending on the content of the book um 
it's just a good way to connect with um, the people of the community um, to come in and have a good time and, and grab some great books to read and start a collection. Yeah. 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 And uh, I do want to touch on this isn't exactly free comic book day um, specific, but it is connected to it because I think a big part of free comic book day is this getting people into comics right it's kind of like a gateway <laughs> i don't want to say gateway drug mm -hmm. gateway comic into the larger <laughs> community um you know get you hooked but um you know a big part of that is like getting people their first comic and i, I want to i want to give a special shout out to lauren and, and remind him of a story that i remember happening at nickel spot um i used to read our reviews from time to time just to see how we were doing sometimes it'd be like you know it'd be cool to see what people were saying about how the store is going and I remember one review uh, talked about how someone was in the store uh, and helped out their son with finding his first uh, comic book. And the only reason I know this was you is because I was there when it happened. Uh, and uh, the the woman uh, commented on how you got on their son's level and asked him what he was interested in and like uh, really helped him find that um, that first comic. And um, you know that that child could be either. Either A, no longer interested in comics, but B, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that was a really formative experience for him. And it could be the start of a of a collection, you know, moments like that, young in life. I mean, you've talked about how your your collection started when you were really young. Um, mm -hmm. And most of you know, most people start when they're young. And so I, I think that's important for us as, I guess, stewards of this hobby, you know, to to do our role uh, in getting more people involved. And Lauren, I think that day in nickel spot you you definitely uh uh represented that so i just want to give you a little little shout out i'm sure that probably happened multiple times but i wanted to bring that up to you awesome yeah it's always great to um get somebody interested in it and keep this this thing going into the future because we're gonna need it yeah i mean it's i'm a soul studies teacher you guys know and that's um i, I think comics are historic and they're important they're part of the culture um, so we got to, we got to keep it going, keep it going as long as we can. Um, just to, yeah. to uh, as, as we get closer to, to wrapping up here, um, I did want to talk about our own sale that we're doing here with Chasing Collectibles. Um, Tim, you want to talk, tell the, tell the folks about our sale? Yes, sure. So right now, um we are doing 20 percent off of any order over 50 dollars and we are giving away a free book a random free book now it could be an indie book it could be a marvel it could be a dc you know you you don't know what you're gonna get it can you know it could be ghost rider you know it, it can be a new book you just and that doesn't mean particularly you're gonna get that one but there are random books. Some, you know, you might get surprised by what you get thrown into, uh, you know, the every order that, that people purchase. And we're also doing combined shipping. Yeah. And um, so I think that's, I think that's pretty much our sale. I mean, I mean, it looks like uh, Tyler's brought up uh, our page with what's what's available. So uh, just a quick glimpse, guys, have a have a look. You know, there's some great stuff being offered. And like like Tim said, 20 uh, percent off any orders over fifty dollars. And we're going to throw in a free comic book um, with every order. So uh, stop on in and check it out. I mean. I mean, I can't point to it where you can see it, but I see Moon Knight number one. I see uh, Dark Avengers number one. Man, it looks looks uh, Darth Vader number one. Yeah, just some really good stuff. Um, that that Disney thing with the mask on the front. That's the first uh, appearance of Bone in color, not in black and white, but in color. So that's a that's a significant piece right there. Did I miss it? Did I scroll up too far? <clears throat> I don't know where it went. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. It's Batman 405. That's cool. Yeah. And we got uh, I was talking about Moon Knight. You know, if you guys like the Moon Knight Disney Plus show, which which I do quite a bit, 
Um, we got a Moon Knight tab, actually. Um, so if you want to look at all this Moon Knight stuff, you know, we got more recent stuff. We got, you know, that Moon Knight number one from 1980, you know, hanging out over here. Um, you know, 20% off. This is, you know, this will get you over that $50 for sure. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, it's all categorized uh, fairly well. Um, you know, if you're if you're a DC person, if you want some more indie stuff, you know, I think we've got something in the store for everybody. Um, so really be, be sure to check us out. Um, this sale uh, is going on through, I believe we said uh, the, the 14th, Tim? Yeah, Mark, I Mark, believe uh, it. May, four, May 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so we uh, would really appreciate you guys giving our store a look and we'll be putting out some some pictures uh, promoting the sale throughout the next two weeks. Um, and in addition to that, you know, be sure to check out your local comic book store too. you know, visit your comic book store on May 7th, um, get those free comics. Um, there's going to be lots of sales uh, and, and take advantage of it. And, and I really feel like the big theme of today's uh, discussion has been just promoting the comic book community. Um, and and yeah. May 7th is a, it's like a holiday for comic book fans. Um, and it's actually a convention going on that day. That's and right. Concord. Yes. How we, we talked to Chris the other week. So that'll be May 7th in Concord as well. Um, mm -hmm. So be sure to check that out with Chris from Beardy Weirdy um, Comics. Um, but I don't, it, it's been real fun, guys. The last few months, we're going to be hitting a, a milestone with episode 10 coming up soon. Um, we hope to have a really special episode for that one. And uh, I don't know, guys, I've been having a blast so far. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been yeah. fun. Yeah. I'm here. And that's why we're going to be, this is the last episode. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> but yeah, again, just to wrap up, check out our sale, go to Free Comic Book Day. And we've got a lot of stuff planned for this year. 2022 is going to be great for us. Uh, and we hope to be great, great for you guys too. We hope to put, continue to put more stuff out there for you. And uh, that's about all I got. Um, and uh, yeah, okay. we'll see you guys. See you guys soon on the next episode of Chasing Collectibles Catch Up. Keep chasing. See you guys. Bye-bye.